Hello everyone, and welcome to my first-ish YouTube video. So, I usually make TikTok content. The reason for that is because it's easy and it doesn't require a lot of time. I work full-time as a systems engineer and kind of getting more into programming now. Um, so I figured my for this video, I should cover all the features on Service Never. Um, this is a help desk system that I've been writing with a few other people just for trolling purposes. Um, so I'm going to go through this website and talk about it now here, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. I'm sorry if I'm super awkward. This is really different than making TikTok videos. So I purchased this domain sharepointlist.com a while ago and had no plans for it besides the fact that it was available and it was only $12 so I bought it. Um, but then I was like, what if we make the perfect help desk system? So here we are. Here, service never. Um, so it starts off with Clippy, he's high, smoking a J. Um, and then we put some helpful resources here for the end users. Uh, this is just a submit a ticket page. Um, they can request a new computer. Which, of course, there's going to be an ad because it is YouTube. Why wouldn't there be ads? I mean, that is why I'm doing it. So, But this is the Never Gonna Give You Up song. All right. And then I put this in here, download more RAM, just in case the end users need to download more memory. They can, right there. Um, they can restart their computer here, which it really doesn't restart the computer, it just brings open this GIF here. Um, and apparently the word GIF is pronounced different ways. I pronounce it GIF, but some people say GIF, but I am will die on this hill, it's pronounced GIF. Um, so then they can log in here, which just opens up another gift, GIF, because they didn't say the magic word, so obviously they can't log in. And then finally, they can download a virus. Um, and this doesn't actually download a virus, nothing happens, this is just literally for visual effects. Uh, but then they can click here to download the real virus, which is Adobe Flash Player. <laughs> you can't... I mean, it's end of life, but it's just funny. And then this other tab here, the about, is not so funny. It's just a, it's not, this is on um, GitHub, so anyone can contribute to it. I have to look at these pull requests and push them through. I'm still learning GitHub. I did not realize that there was so much to this. It's actually really cool. Um, who would have thought? <laughs> And I know people, like, on TikTok, they kept saying, they were like, how do you only have one uh, repo on, tic uh, on GitHub? I'm like, because I never had the, I never needed to use GitHub for anything that I do for work. So that's why. And then I added this submit feedback feature, which is actually a form through Microsoft. So my plan with this is to put a fake testimonial page on the site for, like, <laughs> a lot, like, to actually market it as a legit um, help desk system, but it's never gonna actually sell. I mean, you never know. Um, and then there's a link to my Discord. I have a channel in there where I'm taking suggestions and feedback on what we should add to the site and just some conversation about it. It's been really fun. Um, I'm selling merch with the Service Never logo. Uh, and then people can send me an email if they want. So back to the homepage. So to start off here, we have a random quote that's gonna pull from a website that just is, it changes every time. Like if I refresh a page, it'll be a different quote. Um, and then we have this countdown for the next tech available through the phone. So the end users will know when they can call. So once they get down to the form, they're gonna start typing it out here. And we made it so that when you're typing, it'll randomly move you to different tabs and delete 
characters and also add a period every time you hit the space bar. So I'm just gonna continue to type here. I almost put my actual phone number, <laughs> but I didn't, I stopped myself. Um, so then they can select which department they want. You know, we put this unsure option in there just because end users, they don't really know what they want. So we just added that. The priority of the tickets are just things that I've seen working in IT. Um, the, the options are, will die if not done ASAP. Um, I don't know, I'm going to lunch right now. And the world will end if not fixed immediately. Uh, it is so common in IT for people to put a ticket in and then leave and go on lunch or just leave for the whole day. Uh, so I thought that was a perfect <laughs> option there. Um, this description of problem. So when you hover over it, it's a, uh, your cursor t changes into a loading icon. Uh, but they can still click in it and type. Again, it's it's super frustrating because it does switch um, fields on you when you don't know. I and it deletes characters need help. Okay, that's the best I can do right now. I do have Grammarly on my computer. Don't judge me. I cannot type. So uh, this is also rainbow font, which adds just a little bit of fun to the website. And then we added a Where's Waldo CAPTCHA. Uh, so the user will have to find Waldo and select the square before they can move on. Uh, the, Waldo is not in any of these pictures. He's actually photoshopped out. Uh, he's supposed to be right here in the center here, but they don't know that. And it actually doesn't even work. So nothing happens when they can still hit submit. Um, so let's say I found Waldo and I want to go hit the submit nope. button. So the nope. submit button nope. moves nope. Nope. away nope. from the cursor. So they nope. can't nope. Nope. click it. Nope. They could try. Nope. Um, but then I hit the second submit button under here. When you hover over it, it changes to cancel. But the best part is, is if you do click it, it's just going to put that uh, description of problem into, let me Google that for you. And it's going to Google their issue. <laughs> and of course, because it's impossible to type on that ticket system, you're not going to be able to get an answer. So we added some key features here at the bottom. Um, if there are any issues with this form, please join the Discord and ask for Tyler. He is our mod of the year. So he will be able to help you. Um, we added these icons in here, best viewed with Internet Explorer and Netscape Navigator. And this page was made with Microsoft front page. So those are pretty much the features we have right now. The best feature is over here where they can talk with um, tech support online. So when they go to talk, uh, they're going to type whatever they want to say. This submit button doesn't actually work. I mean, there's no reason it doesn't work except for I don't know how to make it work. I can't figure it out. I've tried um, to adjust the code. But so you have to hit enter. So as soon as you say hi, I have a bunch of different sayings that the bot will spit back at you need help again the space bar and the tabs and deleting characters still enabled in the um chat box here so i'm just gonna have a conversation with the bot It can be aggressive at times. Um, sometimes when you just say hi, it tells you to eat shit. That's so far the features as of today. We are adding more. Um, I haven't, I've been super busy this week, so I haven't had time to sit down and look at some of the other suggestions that people have made, um, but it's been fun so far and I've actually learned a lot. So 
I'm excited to see where this goes.